Manus is so intellectually stimulating. And of course it has hard and soft principles, so it's easy to dive into the well of external systems, you know, uh, biting hard concepts like that. And then there's an entirely other deep well of internal systems, Qigong, philosophy, meditation. So unlike other martial arts where maybe you just get one, uh, Manus, you're able to get both. And it not only creates a well-rounded person, but it, um, I think it's helped create a lot of harmony in life, understanding multiple perspectives. Our lineage in particular, I find very fascinating. The system's been around for hundreds of years, and it means a lot to be able to, to learn the knowledge, get it transferred to me, and be able to pass it on. And this camp's just a big reminder of that responsibility and, and you know, what a treat it is to learn like such a rich, deep system. The thing I love about the Iron Manus and the thing I love about Jiu Jitsu too is that you, you know, no matter how long you train it, there's so many things to uncover and unfold and there's just so many things to work on. I've been training with Sifu for, I believe, 18 years. Every time I train with Sifu, like, it's always kind of a, a little bit of a mind-blowing experience and this many years deep into it, he still, he still gifts me with that. So that's why I've uh, stuck with him so long. And, uh, and really, I owe everything that I got going on in my life right now to this guy. I think he's very good at, at finding people's teaching styles, being able to convey and, and transfer information in a good way. Not only what, what is the technique, what is the drill, or what are you trying to develop, but also how to organize it in a way that it's broken down, that it's palatable. Training with Sifu, it's like a surprise every time. We, like we get together, you know, I don't know what's, what we're going to train with. Okay, well, I have a little idea, but I never really know what, what it's going to be until, you know, we're right there in the moment. Yeah, and if it's going to be intense, if it's going to be relaxed, it's always hard work. But, you know, I really enjoy, I really enjoy like putting in that effort, you know, whether it be with forms or the playing hands or the uh, level camps and all that. I'm Jeff Hughes, also known as uh, Sifu Hughes. I've always loved martial arts. I love all martial arts. Training through my whole life, I was able to like train a bunch of different styles, but since I moved around a lot, I was never able to accomplish a black belt or really know a system of martial arts. I never like went towards like wanting to learn a certain style. I just wanted to learn real martial arts from a master. So I started training uh, Seven Star Praying Manus and fell in love with it and eventually became a Sifu and I had a teacher in that, take on the responsibility of teaching. As I, after I started teaching, it was like we, we say that the school is like a laboratory. I started seeing like little holes in like my game or they say what i'm teaching i would never say seven star praying manners or any style lacks anything but i would say i was lacking certain things and as a teacher i wanted to uh, uh answer be able to answer the question i just think that uh, uh Seifer hughes has always had an open mind to the technology the evolution of the technology of martial arts and I think it's real important to look at martial arts like a technology. It's a constantly evolving thing. Watching uh, Iron Man's black belts develop themselves and go from a black belt to a coach and then to a seafood. Watching the, the system, they say bear fruit, so to say, is, is been nice because a lot of times you could tell how good uh, the curriculum is by what it produces, okay? So everything we do is because we're looking to have this result. Happen. Like, can you defend yourself? Yes. Can you win in a tournament? Yes, we can. Can we, like, you know, win at health and healing ourselves and becoming better people? Yes, we, we can. We're, and we're all working toward, toward that. So it is nice seeing uh, uh, everyone, like, evolving through their training and then also succeeding in their personal life and, you know, working hard with their family and how that extends out from the training. You know, I take one of the testimonies of a good martial arts school is that, like, I've been seeing some of these people for since the time they were like literally teenagers and now they're in their 30s. There's a testament to, to people that stick around and evolve like that. And we really do have a family organization. My name is Barb Butler. I've been training with Sifu for, I believe, 18 years. My name is Nick Van Den. I've been training for almost 20 years. My name is Scott E. Terry. So I've been training about 20, 21 years now with Sifu. Master Morris. I've been training martial arts most of my life. I am Du Van Den. I've been practicing martial arts since I'm 16. So that's uh, 41 years. My name is David Gardner. I've been training martial arts 23 years now, I think. I'm Sabrina. I've been training for almost 10 years. I'm Joseph, and I've been training with uh, Sifu for, I guess, since I was 21, and I'm almost 40 now. My name is Lauren McLaughlin, and I've been training martial arts for about 
13, 14 years. My name is Elizabeth and I've been training martial arts for I believe nine years now. 